All right, so I don't know if you can hear that quite yet with it being cold, but um, I've got a little bit of a misfire going on. And uh, I ran the codes off the OBD2, and uh, it told me the worst one possible, the O30. So um, I actually said a 31, and I said a 30, and then a 33. So I've got a misfire going on in there, and so I've been working on trying to figure that out. So uh, I'll tell you where I'm at and what I think I got to do to fix it. So uh, I picked up this very inexpensive uh, OBD2 reader. It's a little Wi-Fi one that plugs in and then you put an app on your phone and um, works pretty good so far. Um, you got to buy a fancier app to get all the really fancy stuff off of it, but it'll read the codes. You can clear them, that kind of a thing. And in case you didn't know, it goes underneath the dash right there is where you stick it in. Let's see it right down in there. All right, so with these codes, they're really, really a big challenge to figure these codes out. Um, and you got to be a bit of a sleuth to figure it out. The idea is that you're misfiring somewhere in there. So it's either fuel, ignition, or air. So you've got the first thing to check is your spark plugs. I went through, I've got new spark plugs, but I checked them all, made sure that they were all screwed into all the way. Nothing seemed goofy. The gaps were okay. The next thing would be your coils. And since it originally said I had number one out, what I did is I took the number one and I swapped it to number four and put the four in number one. And uh, then cleared it, let it run, popped it up again. It still said number one. So that means that it wasn't in any of the coils. So um, the next thing to check is um, air leaks. And uh, I'll be honest, air leaks were another reason for that was that my idle kept creeping up and creeping up and creeping up which means that it's trying to add more air, it's trying to add more fuel, it, it's just trying, the computer's trying to catch up. So I started checking all of my uh, hoses and it's probably the biggest worry when you do this all thing. Right, so there's a bunch of videos online about checking for uh, vacuum leaks. Um, so uh, I, don't, I didn't do propane, but I've got some uh, cleaner. So you just take that, what the engine running, preferably cold, and you just spray that on each of the little joints, each of the vacuum points until you figure out one that moves your the uh, uh, idle up and down, gets your idle bumping. And I went all around and around and um, was having a hard time finding anything. So then I thought, well, it could be fuel and uh, realized that I had not checked the injectors. So I actually took the brake cleaner, sprayed the injectors, and sure enough, number one and number three are leaking. So, uh, so air's getting in there, they're not sealing up all the way. So, um... All right, so I just shimmied them all out of there. Obviously, just unscrew the rail and uh, unplug the connectors, and then you can lift the rail up and get them out. And uh, here's a perfect example. I did not notice this when I was in putting them in, but that either I did that <laughs> putting it in crooked or it was like that beforehand. So that certainly is going to let some air in. So, uh, all right, so I've been working on this here for a few minutes. Um, you know, obviously, this is the fuel rail down in here. You can't get it out the fuel you know fuel line goes around to the back i guess you could unhook the fuel line and pull the whole thing out if you wanted to but you have to put the injectors into the fuel rail then put them all down into their holes at the same time uh, so obviously it's underneath here you have to do a lot of it by feel <laughs> um, is the best way to put it so got them all in there i also used a pair of pliers this worked pretty good i grabbed the injector and then put it in and then and then inserted it into the fuel rail and then lined up the fuel rail. You're able to get your finger down in there and feel what's going on. So I've got them all on and uh, sealed up good. So I'll put the connectors together and uh, try it out and see if we still have that little miss. All right, so I had the little issue with my injectors and uh, unfortunately, and I thought I was recording it and I ended up not, I um, 
I installed them all and started up. It was running really rough and I thought, well, maybe the computer's trying to figure it out. And uh, came back around and looked and I actually had uh, number two was not seated down inside and there was gas just shooting out all over the place. Um, so luckily I got it, caught it and turned it off before it caught fire. And uh, so then I got it uh, dried out, cleaned up, took them all out again. Um, it did, it just didn't seat. It was just kind of just off a little bit. It's, since you can't see them, you can only feel them with your fingers. I just missed. So uh, just pulled them out, checked them all and lubed them up again and reinserted them again. And now I'm running just fine. So uh, hopefully I don't run into any more errors but right now this seems to be running okay but we'll we'll see as time goes on and get running